Today we're going to make one of my favorite recipes uh, that uses einkorn flour. I'm going to make some dinner rolls. I actually found this recipe when I was looking for a hamburger bun recipe. And um, we love it so much, we have just use it for dinner rolls. And we like to top it with uh, everything bagel, seasoning, uh, sometimes just a sprinkle of salt. And some of my kids just like it plain. So we're going to show you how to do that today. I'm going to start off with taking three tablespoons of butter and I've got a quarter cup of coconut oil. I'm going to get those melting on the stove top. Okay. Got our oils all melted and next we're going to add two our melted oils a cup and a half of whey. Now the recipe calls for milk, but I made yogurt the other day and I strained it to make it a bit thicker. And so I'm gonna use this whey in lieu of my milk. It's a cup and a half. All right, and then I wanna make sure that this is lukewarm and it's not, so I'm gonna put it back on the stove for a second and get it warm through. We want that mixture to be warm because when we add the yeast to it, the yeast needs two things. It needs sugar, um, which we're going to use honey, and it needs warmth in order to grow and multiply and make our bread rise. So um, we're going to make sure that the oil milk mixture is about lukewarm, about what you want for your bath water. All right, that only took a second. My, one of my burners is like lightning fast, and I got this up to a lukewarm temperature. All right, there's my milk and my milk, and I'm gonna add to that a quarter or a third cup of honey. And then to the honey mix, I'm gonna add ah, my tablespoon of yeast. I'm going to let that sit for a few minutes and give the yeast a chance to um, start growing and multiplying and doing its job. All right, to that mixture, I'm going to add two eggs. Two teaspoons of salt. All right, I'm going to put in my dough hook. Scraper on my anchors and mixer. And I'm going to secure it using this thing to pull this up, swing it, put it into that slot, and you're good to go. I'm going to start out on, uh, turn the time all the way up. Then on a low speed, I'm going to start adding my flour one cup at a time and let each cup mix in. All right, I'm going to do between five and six cups of my iron corn flour.
All right, so it's been four minutes and my dough is still really wet. So I'm gonna add another cup of my einkorn flour. you what the dough looks like um, as it's going this is still a bit too wet it needs to be where it's pulling away from the sides of the mixer and it's just not doing that yet so I'm going to add another cup of flour and let that go so I just added another cup of flour and I'm going to take out this uh, bowl scraper just let it go. Turn up the motor just a little bit. You can see it's starting to pull away from the bottom there. And that's what your dough should look like. Smooth, and elastic, and not so much like a batter, but like a really sticky dough. And then you want to let it just knead and get incorporated and it's smooth and elastic and then you're ready to go. Our dough has been rising, it has doubled in size, and the next step, I like to weigh my rolls so that I have an exact, like every roll is the exact same size, that way they cook evenly. And I don't know about you, but I certainly cannot uh, eyeball the size of my rolls. If I, I, I've tested that out and I have found <laughs> that I think they're the same size and there's an ounce difference difference between the two and that's a huge difference when it comes down to baking. So now I'm going to weigh these out with my kitchen scale to two ounces per roll and I'm going to leave them there on my cookie sheet. I don't know if you can see that kind of out of the frame a little bit. I'm going to put all my two ounce rolls on here. It should be about 12 of them when I'm done and then I'm going to let them just sit there and then I'm going to roll them all out at the same time because as they're sitting here, as I'm laying everything out and this one sits, it's going to dry out on the edges just a little bit and make um, the dough a little more workable. So when I roll it into a nice round shape, that it's not going to stick to my hands. So the next step is to weigh everything out into two ounces and just let them sit and rest on this cookie sheet and I've got parchment paper here because I like parchment paper on my um, cookie sheet as I'm baking my rolls to make things not stick to the pan. The next step is to take these two ounce um, lumps of dough that I've let rest for about I don't know, 10 minutes and to roll them in the shapes that you want them to be. You want to roll them like this, maybe flatten them just slightly. As so and if you wanted to make more of a hamburger bun um, you would maybe do three ounces instead of two but I like to do them in the dinner size roll and so I'm doing about a two ounce size with each of these lumps of dough so I'm going to roll all these out and then I'm going to put them in an oven that's about a hundred degrees you don't want it to be a lot warmer than that because then those, the oils in the dough will start to melt and it'll be runny and then you'll have, you, you won't have the shape of the roll. They'll be more flat, they won't rise as well. But if you have your oven just about 100 degrees, about what it feels like a warm day, like a, a warm North Carolina summer day, and then they'll, that'll help the yeast to multiply and to rise really well. And it'll, it, it'll, it'll cut your wait time probably in half if you have a warm space for these to be. So that's what we're gonna do. I'm gonna roll all these out. I'm gonna put them in the oven to rise. And then I will show you what they look like and then we'll bake them. So I almost forgot, before you send them to go rise in a warm place, you wanna do an egg wash. I have scrambled one small egg. We have some young chickens that are laying very small eggs at this point. So I scrambled up just the smallest egg I could find. And now I'm gonna brush this on with my 
what is this made of? Silicone brush. And I'm gonna put a generous amount on each piece of dough. All right. This makes the outside of the roll golden and shiny and just beautiful with a professional finish. So don't skip this part. You want to do the egg wash. Okay. okay, next. I have children that are have different different styles, different tastes that they like. Oops. And here I have, Costco has a very nice um, large shaker full of everything bagel seasoning. This is my personal favorite. And so I love to shake this. It sticks to the egg and makes a nice topping for your bread. And so I'm gonna do one row with this. This is, already has salt in it, so I'm not gonna add any salt to the top of it. But something that I like to do, some of my kids just like plain with nothing else on it. So for the plain ones, I'll even sprinkle a little salt on top. You don't want to put too much salt in the dough. You want to stick to the recipe as far as the salt level goes because salt will deactivate your yeast to a certain degree. And so you don't want to put any extra salt in the dough. But what you can do is sprinkle it on top if you like a little extra... Um, a little extra pop of salt, which I, I do like on that. So I'm gonna put the salt on even the third variety that I'm gonna do. So I've got everything bagel. I've got just plain with a sprinkle of salt. And I'm using a Himalayan salt. I really like the Himalayan pink salt. All right, but the third variety, I'm gonna put sunflower seeds. I got this in a co-op. I don't know if you have Azure Standard in your area. Excellent co-op to get bulk um, Food of all varieties, especially the healthy organic side. And I'm just going to sprinkle some sunflower seeds. These toast up so nice and they taste so good. They acquire a, bit of, a little bit of sweetness as, they, as the bread cooks. And these are just delicious. So that's going to be my third kind that I'm going to do. And now they are ready to rise. So now we are ready to put these in the oven. You can see how much they've risen. Not huge. You don't want any of them touching each other, so you want to space them out properly. We're going to put them in the oven for about 15 minutes at 350 degrees. In they go. Can't wait. Now it's time to take our bread out of the oven. This is the moment of truth. Now for the moment of truth. My boy's gonna try. Which one is your favorite, Kayla? Uh, I personally like the everything bagel. He's going to the everything bagel I topping. Like the, I like the garlic in it. Mm -hmm. That is a good uh, topping. Yeah, me too. And we, oh, we love some butter. We're gonna load it up with some butter. How about you, Joe? Which one are you gonna try? I would like this one, but since he's already trying that one. You gonna do the sunflower seed? Oh, it's hot. Oh, it's hot. Oh, fresh out of the oven. All right. Take a bite. You, Joel. It's like I just went to a restaurant and I'm they made having... fresh <laughs> uh, buns, and this is what it's like. There ain't nothing better than fresh bread out of the oven, y'all. You got to try. If you haven't done, if you haven't tried making your own bread, it's time to start with einkorn flour. It's healthy. Happy baking. <laughs>